Hi everyone, this is Telemachus and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use ngrok with any reversal payload script template which is fairly simple and many people seem to be interested in and for those who doesn't know, ngrok is a globally distributed reverse proxy and it can quickly and effortlessly create a tunnel to link a service, let's say, running on your local host that might be in a private network behind NAT and make it publicly accessible through the internet without you having to port forward or do something like that. So here's how it's done. We're gonna grab a reversal payload template from refshells.com. I'm gonna copy this. It doesn't really matter what IP you input here or port because we're gonna change that based on what ngrok is going to provide. So I have this uh, machine running on the cloud. I have done RDP and I'm gonna paste this here and we're gonna edit it very soon. But first we need to establish the listener and the listener is going to be bound on this uh, VM that is running in, on, on my local machine. And these two machines, they cannot reach each other because there's no port forwarding right now. So let's start our netcat listener. And, and here is where we choose the port that we're going to establish the cell on. Let's say it's 65001. And here we're going to start ngrok in TCP mode on the port that our listener is established. And what's going to happen is ngrok is going to provide this uh, domain name and port. And we need to grab this copy let's return here so we need to go here and replace it's very simple we just need to replace the ip string with the domain name and the port number with the port that ngrok established the sorcery that it's going to implement and we need to delete it from here so this now uh will work so let's run it and here we receive the connection and that's pretty much how it's done. To be honest, I am against using ngrok and other similar tools to establish cells and it's not because they're not awesome. I think it is amazing what these tools can do, but if you want to be a cybersecurity professional, in my opinion, you should prefer to do the IT work that comes with it, uh, which is port forwarding, network pivoting, establishing routes, stuff like that. So many of you asked how can this be done with villain generated payloads and it's uh, gonna be a little bit trickier but still very easy and let's just do it right away. You can really parse any IP or interface here, we just need to, as long as it's valid, we need to just generate the payload, we're gonna change this data anyway. I'm gonna paste this here and let's start ngrok, this time on HTTP mode and the port needs to be the Hoxel engine port and that means we're gonna need this, this is our IP now, the domain name provided from ngrok and this is the port that is listening for uh, cells on, on VLAN. By default you can change it with arguments, but we're not gonna do this now. So let's begin. You need to do three things. The first is very easy. You just replace the IP address with this domain name right here. The second is also very easy. You need to go to this uh, variable that uh, initializes the string, which is the protocol that is going to be used, and turn it into HTTPS. And the third and a little bit trickier is that you need to append this header uh, to every HTTP request that this uh, payload is uh, implementing. And you will see that it's actually three. I'm not going to explain right now what is the concept here, but uh, you see this authorization header is... Uh, is part of this payload and it, it has some value basically it's the session id of the cell so that villain can recognize this session that is valid and it's generated by by him let's say him it so we just need to append this header this special header that uh, basically skips browser warning because ngrok the first time you establish a, a tunnel and you visit it someone visits, visits it he gets a warning that this is a tunnel and explains what is happening but we need to, to disable this in order for this payload to work so the, the value of this header can be anything it doesn't really matter it just need to be there so i'm gonna copy this and so we're gonna just append it to all of these uh, requests at the part that the headers are being set so i'm gonna put it here as well and here as well and because i i'm afraid that maybe something will be buggy i don't know 
I'm gonna just delete this part that uh, is starting this as, as a new process so we can see what is happening. Maybe an error message will be hidden if we don't do that. We just need to see that this works. So we're ready. I'm gonna run this and yeah, we got the session. It's this Windows 11 Pro Telemachus machine right here. And we can do what you would think we can do. Okay, we can run commands. So that was it. Uh, you can find Villain in this repository among other tools. And thank you for watching.